Oh, sailors, come gather and listen to my ditty to picture a right. This hero I'll try. He seldom is sober, and more is the pity. He is Captain Poland of the Scoundrelly Fly. We sailed from Shane Street. The wind blew a gale, and down Detroit River, the Nettie Fly flew. Said Captain Poland, she can carry her sail. Took a pull from his bottle and sized up his crew. But all he could see was his mate, a brave fellow who stood by the mainmast with bottle in hand. His legs they were shaky, his face it was mellow as he thought on the wager he'd lost back on land. We were heading southwest with the wind on our quarter, and the old man's dull eye peered off through the gloom. He then hauled her up seven points and a quarter, and we made river rouge not a moment too soon. For a heavy squall struck, her lee rail went under, and out went. Your mainsail and the ribbons it blew. While out flashed the lightning and loud rolled the thunder, our captain took refreshment. The mate took swim too. She righted at last through our manly endeavors. We took in the foresail and stood for the bank. By the stars and the stripes and our beloved Constitution, I said, if the captain ain't drunk, then the mates in the tide. The old man to Jack, you had better go forward and take in the staysail and let go your hang. For I've skinned my own nose, my shins and my forehead, and my legs are all tangled in the centerboard bank. In three days we loaded and were homeward bound. We sailed up the river in a favoring breeze. We came up that river just like a scared hound, but we only made money and was very much pleased. Our captain explained how we nearly went under, how the scow in our lives he thought he would lose. But the last time I saw him, he was in a tavern, and the last that I heard. He was still on the moon.